gathering and so just to make sure that I have everybody here I'm just going to ask you to follow the clap rhythm excellent so when I say I'll go it means to give ear so when I say I'll go you say amen I'll go When I say funda, you say fest. Funda, yes. funda. Yes. Now you can put some clapping with this, you know. Funda, yes. funda. Yes. When I say funda, you say fest. A funda, yes. a funda. Yes. All right, now that's how we get started. We always have our drum. We have our drum with our hands, our feet, and everything that's all about us. Today, you have with us being a host is Mama Linda, and that's me. And Barbara Sumner, that's what I'll be. This is uh, Valerie Tutson. She's a well-known traditional storyteller. And uh, Valerie, you had in this event, right? I'm part of this event. I am. I'm here uh, representing the Rhode Island Black Storytellers and also the Southside Cultural Center of Rhode Island. And uh, we hope, come on down. It's awesome. There's going to be more performances this afternoon until 4 o'clock. And we also have these amazing vendors. So come and get some beautiful cultural arts and crafts, um, homemade food goods. Uh, oh, did you get this here? Yeah, I'm a Ghana thing. Then I bought your t shirt. I bought a long sleeve one though because it's too cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. We don't have a lot of long sleeves. But also, 
look us up, ribsfest.org, and we want you to come to our FUNDA Festival, which is our annual Black Storytelling Festival. And it's going to be in January, from January 26th until February 3rd. We're kind of including the, supporting the Langston Hughes Poetry Meeting on the 3rd of February. But we'll be here on the 27th of January and also on Saturday, February 2nd. So come on. So Val, if people are having events and want you to participate, how can they contact you? Uh, if they want to contact me myself, they can email me at vtutson at yahoo.com. That's V for Valerie Tutson is my last name at Yahoo. And you can also hit me up on Facebook. Um, and if you want to find out more about how you could get ribs uh, to come as part of the festival to a to an event in January or school, then you can look to info at ribsfest.org. And Val, do you all go out of state? Oh yeah. Many of us work out of state all the time. So I'll be in Connecticut on Monday, as a matter of fact. So uh, many of us work all over the country and internationally. So I was in South Africa. I'll be in Hawaii just before Sunday. So lots of things going on. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for your support. Yeah. How come the little, you pitch a little boy, a little girl, went up to the grandpa and said, how, how, how come Christmas, when you see, went to the little baby boy born, and his name was called Little Jesus, but didn't nobody know that was his name yet, but he was a smart baby and a pretty baby, and everybody thought he was so smart and so pretty, he was going to grow up and be the king, so right away, everybody figured they better get on his good side, so when he grows up, he'll grow up liking him, not cut the heads off, and he'll become the king. So everybody but everybody bringing over fine, expensive gifts. And Juicer brought over some frankincense. Oh, oh, Peter brought over some robes. Everybody bringing fine, expensive gifts. Because they figured, again, on this boy's good side, he won't go up and cut the heads off and he become the king. Everybody but old Santa Claus. You see, Santa Claus, he wasn't getting around much. He getting kind of old. And he and the missus, they were back at the house, sitting in front of the fireplace, toasting their shoes. And Miss Santa Claus up to the remark, she said, Mary had a baby boy. What? I said, Mary had a baby boy. Ooh, that cold to be doing something like that, eh? <laughs> and I reckon in the summertime, that baby be a heap of lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. We talk one on like this and that for a while. You know, Santa Claus said, you know, I'm hungry to leave my eyes on the child. I ain't seen a child a long time. The Santa Claus said, shoot, we had 14 of them, <laughs> but you just played with them. I had to take care of them, mend their clothes, take care of them, they were sick. You, you, you just play with them. Yeah, well, they're all fine. They're doing well, growing up. You've got family of their own. They're doing fine. I say good business to them. <laughs> we'll talk about them like this and that for a while. And then I'm saying, I'm saying, you know, like I said, I'm from home. I'm going to leave my eyes up on a child. I'm going to go over there and see that little old baby. <laughs> You're not going out tonight, is you? It's cold and it's windy. It's blowing out there. Yeah, I'm going out there. You know about your eyes right this. Oh, don't worry about my eyes right here. Uh, get, let me fetch my coat. Uh, get me a gift. I got to bring the baby to the cradle gift. A gift? <laughs> what kind of gift you think we got around this house for a little baby? Look, uh, yeah, fetch me that. I got to bring a baby to the cradle gift. It's bad luck not to give a baby to the cradle gift. Uh, fetch me that apple in the kitchen. An apple? Don't you think that baby get all the apple he want? <laughs> look, look, to you, that apple don't look like mine. To that little baby, that apple's going to look like a whole heap. So Santa Claus, you take that apple, put it in his pocket, and he lit on out. When he gets over there, and everybody but everybody sat in the middle of the round with Santa Claus, see what he brings. When they see he didn't bring nothing but old apple, they say, Woo! Quick as that baby grew up to be the king, he's going to chop your head off. Woo! Old Santa Claus said, Oh, get out the way, get out the way. You walk in the house there, and there's a cradle right there, and all these gifts are all stacked up high, all stacked up high around. Santa Claus get in there and push all them gifts out the way. He reach in his pocket, he take out that apple, he shine it up, he lean over that crib and say, Here baby, see how she shine? And that baby reach up and grab a hold of Santa Claus and he whisper with both hands. And Santa Claus pick that baby up and Santa Claus start dancing around the room. Back and forth, they're dancing around the room, dancing around. And then upset the Lord. Oh, Santa Claus said, oh, Lord, Lord, he kneeled down and said, Lord, um, I'm sorry, I didn't have much to bring over this time, you know. Uh, me and the missus are getting kind of old, and uh, the bull weevil don't eat most of the cotton, and I don't have much to bring this time. Oh, Santa Claus, look, gold and silver, I got a heap of them. 
Merrily, merrily. See that baby laugh like that? That baby ain't laughed so hard since he's been born. <laughs> you, you sure got away with children. Well, me and the missus, we had 14 of them, but you know, she took care of them in the clothes. I, I just like to play with them, I guess, along with them. Yeah, and you get along with them good, too. Well, it's easy with, if you like what you do to do it. You know, no, I, Sammy, you know something? You, you got something there. You like what you do. You're doing the right thing. And that's the problem with the world today. Ain't enough people like doing the right thing by the children. But Sandra, you like doing the right thing by the children, man. Yeah. So, uh, Sandra, you kneel down here. Let, let me cast a spell over you. And Santa Claus, kneel down. And the Lord takes his wand and says, Santa Claus, I want you to live forever and make my children happy. <laughs> Santa Claus says, Oh, Lord, uh, um, <clears throat> that's a fine job, but do I have to make them happy all the time? <laughs> yeah, I would. yeah, I know. Sometimes them children, they need to get a whooping or their skin won't get so often they won't grow. <laughs> so, uh, what you say you make a happy boy once a year? Would that be fine with me, Sam, for any particular time? How, how about Christmas? That'd be fine, Lord. And ever since that day, Santa Claus has been traveling all around the world, bringing gifts and funny things to little children. Because the Lord knows that that little old baby's going to be the king and help all the grown ups with their problems and their sorrows. But you know, children need something. And that's how come Christmas and how come Santa Claus. Oh, yeah.